Hello everyone, I am going to show you here a word problem that involves quadratics that we sometimes encounter in our daily lives. Problems like finding the area of a square, a triangle, rectangles, or finding the perimeter of some plane figures would actually be just that easy if we apply the concepts of quadratic equations in it. Let's see how it gonna works in this problem. So, here is our problem. A flower garden is 320 meters long and 200 meters wide. It is surrounded by a pathway of uniform width. The total area of the pathway and the garden is 69,200 square meters. Number one, draw the figure indicating the length and the width of the garden. Number two, how did you compute for the area of the flower garden? Three, Given the area of the garden as you have solved in number 2, what is the area of the pathway? Number 4, solve for the perimeter of the rectangular garden. So here, let us just illustrate the figure. I am not using any ruler, but I'll try to make my line straight as I can. And make sure that the length is actually longer than the width. Okay, so this is our length, 320 meters, and this is our width, which is, which is 200 meters. So this is our garden. And what surrounds the garden is a pathway of uniform width. So we have this one. this that one so this is our pathway that surrounds the garden we can actually shade or just draw lines on this part just to identify or differentiate the garden from the pathway This is the pathway. So as you can see, the lines are not actually straight. But anyway, we have the figure. So we can actually see what the figure is. What do you actually need to do when you have word problems is you translate those word problems into figures like you draw it, you illustrate it. For you to have a concrete idea of the details you're gonna use in solving the problems and determine whether you need formulas to solve or whatever that helps you arrive at the correct answer. In the case of this problem, this is now our illustration, our representation, our drawing, so we can clearly see the given parts associated with it. And we can identify what to do or what, to form, what formulas to use with regards to the remaining questions associated with the problems. So this is our answer for number one. So let us proceed with number two questions. How did you compute for the area of the flower garden? As you can see in our drawing, we form a rectangular garden. We have a rectangular garden. So to compute for the area of this one, we have to use the formula in finding the area of a rectangle since we have a rectangular garden. So, the area of the rectangle is equal to length times the width. 
So the area of the garden, let us just put a subscript to identify the area of this particular figure. So just replace the value of your length and your width from the given. So you have the length is 2, 320 meters times the width is 200 meters. So the area of this garden is equal to multiply 320 times 200 meters is equal to 6,000 64,000 square meters. So that's the area of our flower garden. So that's just it. For problem number three, given the area of the garden as you have solved in number two, what is the area of the pathway? As we know, the total area of the pathway and the garden is 69,200 square meters. So the area, the total area of the space is equal to 69,200 square meters. This is actually the sum of the areas of the garden and the area of the pathway. So the total area of the pathway is unknown, but the total area of the whole space is given that is 64, 69,200 square meters is equal to the area of the garden after we have computed it, 64,000 square meters plus the area of the pathway with it, which is unknown. So what we're going to do to find the area of your pathway is just to subtract the area of your garden from the total area of the space then you will be able to find the value or the area of your pathway so we have 69,200 square meters minus 64,000 square meters that is equal to the area of your pathway so find the difference that is 69,200 square meters minus 64,000 square meters so we have 5,200 square meters that is the area of the pathway okay that's it okay so let us proceed with number four question solve for the perimeter of the rectangular garden when we say perimeter that is actually the sum of all the measures of the sides of a given polygon. In this case, we have a rectangular garden. We have two lengths and we have two width. So we simply add the measures of this one. So we have perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 width replace the value of your length and your width 
So, 2 times the given length is 320 meters plus twice that of your width which is 200 meters. Then simplify. So, 2 times 320 meters is equal to 640 meters plus 2 times 200 meters, we have 400 meters is equal to 1,040 meters. So, this is the perimeter of our rectangular garden. So, that's it. So, I hope everyone finds this video helpful. Thank you for watching and until our next video.